Hello everyone, only me, and guess what? Yep, we're back on the 310. Oh, mustn't lose that dice, must I? Need that for me, me saving fund. Ready for when flipping Secret Temple comes back in stock. Now, I'm, I'm itching to start doing this bit, I really am. But at the same point, I want to do this last. I want to get the black well out of the way. And then I can cheer myself up with fillering it all in. I think that sounds quite good. It's bloody cold still. Freaking freezing. And the cat is just, you know, before the cat will be downstairs on the sofa, anywhere by night time, you know, sleeping away, well away from me. But whenever we don't have any um, heating, heating goes out. She is there, basically, sleeping on my shoulder. I'm wearing my hoodie, which my daughter gave me for Christmas. Daughter and, and um, son-in-law gave me for Christmas. It's lovely, but of course the cat likes it as well. Ah, oh, dear, bless the thing. But it's like, oi, dear pussycat, that is mine. Bugger off. But, well... So the upshot of that is I phoned up and luckily my boiler is still in warranty. Only till October. But then that's fine because where I live, I live in a housing, um, it's an arms house. And so the charity that runs them, um, they will deal with all that. So, you know, still thankfully sorted. But um, yep. Yeah. I'm going to talk to the boiler man when he comes out again and say, look, I'm getting fed up of this. This is keeps doing it every January, February, March way. My, um, when we get the cold seat snap, my boiler does this thing. It just, the condensate blocks up, it fills up the, um, the trap. And then therefore then it won't blimmin work and it has to be repaired. And I would like them to do something about, because apparently they're supposed to have, there's laws apparently on um, that everything has to be um, insulated type of thing. And um, of course, when this boiler was put in, that wasn't around. So, um, because you've got to have the outflow at certain degrees going out of the, um, you know, the overflow certain degrees it's got to be um insulated it's all kinds of things oh god get in there and um and so i'm gonna ask them and say right any chance you can bloody well do something about this because i am getting fed up with this Otherwise, I'll just have to talk to the um, the people, the charity that runs this, the housing, and say, you know, something really needs to be done. It'll save them, because if I was to have to call their plumber out, it's going to charge them. So we might as well cut to the chase first. God, yes, this is too... Either the diamonds are too big or these are too small. I don't know. But it's driving me freaking berserk. Yes, and I know. I've got no heating, no hot water, and yet I have the fan on. Yeah, it's because it's more effort and energy to take off my hoodie and put it back on than to switch the button. And um, switch the button off. Well, oh, I made myself some um, spaghetti for dinner tonight. Spaghetti bolognese. And, um, yep, I opened the fridge because I tried getting some of that hard cheese, Parmesan cheese, you know, you used to get in the shops. But they didn't have any in them, you know, the little plastic tub that I usually go for. The, so it's the dried stuff. And um, so I found a bag and I thought, oh, well, that's got to be the same. Yeah, no. I went in, I picked up the bag and thought, that's got some green bits in there. 
Got a bit of them um, flipping them. Um, what was it? Penicillin, as they say, but um, whatever. And um, so I um, thought, right, well, that side of the pack hasn't got any green bits in. So I'll just use a bit of that because I didn't have any cheese to put on it apart from that. So I put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Luckily, I didn't put much on. Um, because um, obviously I dug around the green bits. I didn't put the green bits on me, me bolognese. But um, yeah, it was definitely, um, I think it was fresh parmesan or parmesan or whatever they call it. And it was, um, yeah, and it you could tell that it was um, on the mould. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah. So I was gutted with that. I've still got some bolognese sauce, which is good because tomorrow I can... Oh no, tomorrow it's fish and chip day. I'll save till Wednesday then. And Wednesday I'll have... Um, I'll have baked spud and bolognese sauce. And if it's chip, fish and chip day tomorrow, I can always hit the supermarket on my way back and get some cheese, proper cheese. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, oh, how would you tackle this one, this painting, if you've done it, or have you already done this painting? I was watching, um, Kristen's, um, post review kit down from Diamond Painting Fanatics. Oh, it's so funny. If you don't watch her already, I'm sure you must do. Go watch because oh, it's, she's so funny. Yep. And her cat Duncan is even more mental. But yes. So I was watching that and then I thought, oh, I've got one already put up for tomorrow, ready. Um, but it's a small one. And so I really want to get Wednesdays filmed. Because it would be nice to have one in, you know, ahead of one time. So that if one day I don't feel like, you know, doing anything. Then I will have one ready to go. I thought I was going to be getting my needle punch frame today, but no. Looks like it's going to be here tomorrow because it's in my um, local. Um, it's coming, getting out to my local sorting office. Oh dear! And I got some lovely wool at the um, at the craft fair that I did. I'll show it you, it's really yummy. I loved it and. Three balls cost me a fiver. I know it's not an even number, is it? If you said two balls, you <laughs> you could have said that I've been done. <laughs> Sorry, smut, naughty girl, naughty girl, smack face. This one I got. Oops, that one, and I got well that one. I'm hoping they're going to work. And this is the Pierce de Resistance. Get your sunglasses on. Dang, dang, dang. Bright orange. So, all lovely together, aren't they? I th Oops. Am I too... F oh, God, I'm doing this thing again, aren't I? That's the one. Does that look good together? Does that look sexy? Nothing more. It's just that I'm um, a new BM... <laughs> a new BM person at this so it's um mm, i'm gonna waste my wool my lovely wool so i have to do a practice run but yes a bit of five i didn't think was bad for all that should have been something over a fiver but should always call it a fiver ah. i'm just 
I've got to find a place where I can do that now. Oh, what's that? Shoot. That must be my bag. Yes. I have been so tired. Yesterday and today, and my back. Oh, my God, my back. It did quite a lot of walking. And, of course, sitting up, and I couldn't rest it. Um, on the Saturday, Friday night, Saturday night, I can't remember. Friday night when I was at A&E. Oh, why does it keep pinging off? Just for God's sakes, I have softened this down a bit, but it's still way too sticky. But yeah, so um, when I was at A&E, so um, I'm absolutely shattered and in so much pain. I very nearly thought, right, I've got to put my TENS machine on. But I really need to get some more um, sticky um, thingy jigs that stick to your back and it plugs into. The ones I've got, I'm getting fed up with them because they, um, they de-stick pretty damn fast. And then um, they stick to your clothing and then you forget that you're on your clothing and you go and smooth it down. And you, of course, first off, you turn up your tennis machine first, thinking, oh, maybe the battery's going in it and I need to up the, up the, um, you know, the magic. And, um, and then you find them on the back and, of course, your fingers find them first. And you have, like, um, all the voltage, instead of going into your back, it's going in through for your fingers and you're like, ah! Yeah. So, um... I've got to find somewhere of doing that. I think I might have to get some of those really big, wide... Um... Oh, for God's sake. This is frustrating. Do you know what? Half me thinks I should have just not put this black down. I should have just left this. And I should have just painted over it in black. Do you know what? I'm half tempted to do that. I won't do it though, but I'm half tempted. <laughs> <coughs> Seems too messy. As if this isn't messy enough. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I think I'm going to get him done first. No, because then I won't want to finish it, you see. That's the problem. Because then I think, oh, it'll go into my whip pile and stay there for the for eternity. Oh. Well, what I might do is, actually, this could be quite good. I could follow that line along. Do all the black on this side first, you know, to level up with that. And then I can fill her in up to that line. And then I can do it again. I can do all the black and then fill her in the middle. Do all the black. And that. Fill her in the middle. That's what I could do. Then at least I'm getting a bit of reward each time, aren't I? So the quicker I fill this in down to there, then I can start filling her in. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think I have a plan. Stan. Uh I just want to sleep. But sleeping with a bloody cat, bloody, the, with the cat is just horrendous. You don't sleep. But the cat's comfortable. But you're not. And it is crazy. Right. Oh, I was having weird dreams last night. Very weird dreams. Yeah. Oh, I think I crossed over last night and then came back again. Because some of the dreams I was getting, oh my God, they were weird. Very weird. But well. Cat was in it at some point. Cat 
something which I needed. And I think that, that's what I went after. I went after the cat. It's crazy because I've been saying quite a lot about Ted recently. And Ted is my very old cat. My last cat before Desi. He was lovely. He was very ill at the end. Yeah. He was very loving. He'd let you hold him. He'd let you stroke him. He wouldn't attack you. Or if he did attack you, he knew when to stop. You know, he, he was a playful cat. This one, she gets hold of you and that's it. She starts off playing and then she ends up in the on the kiln, you know. Lulls you into full sense of security. I'm sure that that cat could have played a part in the World War II, you know, or some... You know, Matahari type, Katahari even maybe, because you know, oh well. Oh, this is really irritating me. This is. is coming tomorrow yay I will show you I know it's not diamond painting but hey well some of you have said that I should do a, a you know crafty stash on on my page on my site so I might oh for god's sakes I might look into doing that I don't know how I'd work it but have a look. I've got loads of you know, daft budget, really, you know, small learner budget um, diamond paintings. But I've also got lots of other stuff, you know, which isn't diamond painting related, which, um, you know, lots of notebooks and notepads which I've made. It's a nice cushion covers I've made, patchwork type cushion covers, but well, I like them. Um, what else? Oh, cover minder type fridge magnets. And I have ordered a load more of the enamel pins. And I, so when they arrive, I will be very carefully very carefully here yeah. cutting off the pin part and then i'll be dremeling it down ready to make um uh, magnets so i've ordered some more magnets because i sold a heck of a lot of magnets Granted, i sold them at 150 which is so cheap but um you know Better have them sold than sat there because in my way I've already paid out for them so you know whatever comes back in is is fresh in the old pockets because it's already been you know not quite the way to run a business but then you know that's how I do it because I'm because of my health I can't get a proper job I'd never last and this is a proper job so I do this I work self-employed so I am um, so I am you know doing something but I'm not I was very busy when I was on Etsy selling very very busy every day I was doing something and I was having to send out lots and lots and it just got too much for me that it was overwhelmed. Good, but it was it was just exhausting. And then of course I went bang a bit. So um 
I am now just doing doing it. You know, keep my hand in, still be classed as oh for self-employed and um do you know what i put on putting all these on you know twice you could say so however many black ones there are in this painting i've done double because i've had to put them out on again and again and again but anyway where was i i was um yes yeah, so i just do a little bit of a little bit so whatever comes in, it's not enough. Can't live off of it. But I've got Universal Credit and I've got Pip, and um, so that'll do. And I'm just making it last and work. But I definitely think that um, Diamond Art Fund that I've started doing is a brilliant way so i allow myself 10 pounds a week in um spending money and um then what happens is i mean it hasn't some of it hasn't happened um this month because this month oh but why is it always two that ping off That um, because it's February and I'm still trying to get over December because I didn't have as much saved up for this December as I usually do. Because of all the diamond paintings that they keep bringing out. Hence why I thought I need to get a fund go. So, um, you know, at my tenor spending money, I, I give myself 20 quid a week, really. Um, one tenor is for my fish and chips and also my craft group that I go to. So that pays for that. And there might be a quid left over, which then will go in my um, Christmas pot fund. And then I have a tenner for myself, for my things that I want to get, you know, in the shop or whatever else, you know, treats, you know, like a chocolate bar or you know, or something, you know. And sometimes if I need, if I run out of money for, if I've run out of a certain food or whatever, I will then use that as, you know, to top up my, um, my food fund. And then, but after that tenner, if it's my own money, then I roll the dice and whatever it lands on, I put a quid per dot. So the highest it can ever be is six pounds. And... You know, the lowest it can be is one pound. And then the rest is what I've got to spend. But if it doesn't, if I don't spend it on top-ups or treats, then it goes into into uh, the Christmas pot fund. So I am saving little bits, but then little bits soon all add up. I mean, what have I got in this diamond fund now? This is my diamond fund. Look at it. It's already got 24 quid. Well on the way to getting a... Um, and that, I think, is be since January. Beginning of January, I think. It's not much, but it, it you know, it'll get that little treat that I want, that diamond painting and help towards it. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for these pins to come through so I can show you and we can see what, um, what, um, you know, I've got to do. And I might do one of, um, me making them as a little extra yeah. Oh well, actually I should do that. I've got some other magnets, fr proper fridge magnets that I ought to um, do something with. 
for like diamond painting or something like that, you know. Oh, I can't believe a lot of my, um, I know I sold them cheaply, a quid a piece, but oh my God. As I say, I've already spent out on them and they just sat there otherwise. But those Life's a Bitch and then your budget books. <laughs> I must do some more of those. Yeah, that's fun. And I've got to do some more of those cards, um, painting diamond art cards, because they did well. Mm. It's the kind of thing, it's like know your market and know what sort of money is people have got, especially this time of year you know and also now they say we're in recession again so it's it's like oh have I gone too far over but it's you know you just sort of think mm. all right so I'll go down to there One, two, three. Oh, there's a dot. Might as well get that dot in there, mightn't I? It's still black. Will there be one this side to even it out? No. Right. But yes, so it's... um. Rather pleased, yes. So you have to sort of know your market, and um, you know, and, and you know. I mean, that's the one good thing about when I had a car, I could go to um, various other, um, uh, what's it called, craft fairs. But the downside of that was was that because I had a car, I fit more, I, you know, fit more into the car to take and of course then it was horrendous because then my back really did hurt because there was more stuff that I had to you know take out and stuff and then carry in and then of course carrying it all back whereas when I take my scooter I have my backpack on the back I have a couple of bags in between my legs and I have um, the, the um, pocket you know the basket in front and then I have um, my handbag on one handlebar and a bag on the other handlebar, on the mirror, I should say, my crutch. <laughs> and then I wheel a my, you know, wheelie, shopping trolley wheelie thing. So, um, and that, I can get quite a lot in. So, um, it's, you know, it's enough. The only hard part is when I had to take it all, you know, a lot of it all back up to the shop afterwards because it was on route home because I didn't want to take it home because I'm trying to empty out my house of all this stuff. You know, to get my house back. I want I want a working house, you know, a house where I can see the floor, where I can see the sofa, I can sit on the sofa and it's just housey things with perhaps a little bit of a hobby, you know, like my diamond painting. But then I want the other stuff, the working stuff. I want that to be at the office. Oh, for... Mm. But then it's... This is crazy. I'm going to try... I'm going to spread them out. Make there be a bit more of a gap. Because it's just ridiculous. It is seriously... Peeing me off. Yes, so it's why am I still doing ones? Why don't I just I fill that up? Forgot the item. Oh, you fill it up and look at that. Oh, god, gee whiz. I think I need to get another pen, different pen. I think this one's pen nib, even. I think this um, place is perhaps 
very used and it's not quite oh for goodness sakes this is when it starts infuriating me and realistically this is when I should put the, the thing away and go and pull out one which won't irritate me and do you know what I'm sorely tempted I think I'll do this bit and this bit and then I will stop on it for now because it is seriously frustrating me and there's no point absolutely no point keeping going when it's doing that I will persevere you know what this is what I feel like doing does anybody else feel like doing that it's not as if they won't slide on properly will they do you think that would work let's try it one Ooh. Ooh. that's slightly more fun oh I quite like that idea you do the shake and whatever. <laughs> it's so slippy. I mean, look. Whee! How, you know, there's no give, no pull, no nothing. It's just bump. It's no wonder they're all pinging off. <clears throat> people do when they get flipping canvases like that I was tempted to wash it but actually what I would say is I was half tempted to peel off the bloody poured glue and um, paint on some of that you know diamond dots glue even get some of my carpet tape onto it. Oh, this is just crazy. I want to do a little one because I thought, oh, I can do a little one and I can finish it quickly and then that's it. I can kick down and because it's Diamond Art Club, I can kick down properly into my new pots. But no. I mean, because let's face it, this little bite-sized one I would probably have done by now. the belt of Orion coming up. Perhaps Sagittarius or something. There's a two eyes, some ears, a unicorn smoking. A very long cigarette or dun, 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 whatever. Oh dear, come on. Let's turn it over, turn it over. I'm just trying to turn it over, but of course then I have a... I'm trying to fight the urge of um, moving them. But sometimes I have to because I, I can't get the other one in. Turned over until it's... Nearly done. Oh, <laughs> is that 
uh, boobies or a bottom? Or is it unicorn or rhino on a Segway? God knows. I'm going to go around these. And then I'm going to stop because this is just driving me spare. And I shall probably put this away and um, I won't finish that bit off. And then I shall put this away and hunt out a different one to do. Because this is pants still. I really should get out my Mr. Ye and do my Mr. Ye. But I, I can't concentrate at the minute. That's the problem. After what? After the hospital and all that kind of stuff, my eyesight is a little bit odd. And um, hmm, I don't know if the cat's upstairs on my bed lording it all you know just sort of lazily in the bed you know waiting for the grapes and the wine to be poured into her mouth or um or she went outside only time will tell Got to take that big wooden, heavy wooden chair up to my um, office. But it's so heavy. And it's also quite handy to have here because if I need to go up and do the condensate, that's the chair I stand on. So now it's sturdy. Mind you, I've got a stool, but then the stool is higher and it's um, more wibbly wobbly. Oh, for Okay, okay, let's have an idea. Well, let's have an idea. Let's try and find it first. There's no point having an idea if you can't find the flipping thing. Where is it? Oh, great. I can't find that, so I'm going to have to find... Oh, God! <clears throat> Weighing it down. Bloody ridiculous, isn't it? I was going to try and find my roller, but I couldn't find it. Why am I going along this row when I said I was going to just go around the red letters? half a swan with a ship isn't it yeah suddenly i thought can you see have i been doing this all off cam like the old-fashioned ironing isn't it and then move it off and then get it to heat up again see it's when they sort of move over a bit and they leave a little bit of gap and of course when I go to push it in that's when the trouble happens that's when they go ping 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 oh. I mean, look at that there I do it did it and it'll just fall out again I put some more in to help it. I wouldn't mind actually doing all the um, 
actually what I might do is after I've done this going around these letters I might just find all the things I have to do with the tweezers and do the tweezers and see if that is enjoyable or if that's horrible as well it's three three is an ab whoop 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 yes so i might just try that and see but it all depends I can't see the time, how long we've been already. So it might be too much. But I could do it a bit, couldn't I? I could do this red. That's true. Oh, for God's sake. There it goes. Sliding again. week I wonder when I'm going to get that letter for my MRI because then I'm going to have to phone up patient services patient transport get them to take me up there and back my god it all makes sense now it really does they should have told me that when in 2020 for god's sakes so that's when all my senso neuro hearing loss was was happening my first ocular migraine my um uh balance issues god's sakes ridiculous or redunculous as they should say i really I'm annoyed with that. Because if I'd known about that, I would have then said, right, OK, I want this further investigated. Thank you very much. And um, I know we were in the height of sort of COVID, but at the same point, you know, life still goes on. And just because it's not COVID related, doesn't mean to say it's any less important you know a lot of people had problems you know a lot of people had problems getting their chemo during covid and stuff like that and many people died not just because of covid but because of their other illnesses and things which weren't getting addressed because it wasn't covid then they were cooking the books and the numbers by saying, oh, yes, that's a COVID death when it wasn't a COVID death or that was, um, you know, and you just sort of think, oh, you know, and at the end of the day, when you saw how many people actually died of COVID, whilst it was not nice, but the 1918 flu epidemic, I'm pretty certain there were more deaths on that than there was with COVID. So why the world suddenly went crazy, crazy makes you wonder what was um, what was really um, happening behind the scenes. Or was that just to take away our attention to some from something else? Call me sceptical, but that's what I always think. You know, whenever you find big news happening, there's usually a small print and it's that small print or whatever that is actually more significant, more, you know, important. You just sort of think, hmm. Cheers for that government. 
and not just, you know, England, Wales, UK's government, but everybody's government. Oh dear, just, you know, get fed up with it. Sometimes I just sigh and just think, oh, well, it is what it is. Not a lot we can do about it. Doesn't matter anyway, no matter what we do. Nothing's going to change. They'll just take their time and bring it in. It'll still be coming eventually. It's a bit like the death of um, the NHS. The Tories wanted that to die pretty damn fast because basically they wanted everything to go private because they're all on the boards of private health companies and they just want their dividends to be more. But while we've got the NHS service um, for free, you know, they're not, even though they're on the board, they're not getting as much as what they could get. The greedy little feckers. And they're just, you know, the NHS is slowly being killed off. Half our services are gone. Dentists, ear clinics. I mean, if I need to get my ears done, which I will need to, I'm going to go and fight it through the doctor's surgery again and say, well, look, I don't care, you prefer me to get it done than sorted. Because um, it's putting added pressure on this thing and um, I've already got these things which are close to the... Um, to my ears so I don't need any more added pressure because that could um, be harmful so um, deal with it because if I was to go to the chemist and get them done first this is the chemist they would have had some very basic training not proper training but basic basic training and um, they charge £10 to look in your ears first off just to say yes you need them done Oh, I can tell them I need them done. Don't, you know, forget that ten pound. You know, for the doctors and the um and the person at my GP, person at A and E, person at the GP has said, you know, yes they are, and um and stuff. And then you have to pay ten pound so they can see, and then it's twenty five quid per ear, so sixty quid. And I am prone to ear blockages, which is probably due to this flipping thing, actually, which they say I've probably had for since birth, another congenital thing. So that's like, great. Absolutely great. God knows. Oh well, that's that. Let's just get him in there. That's a little bit better with this thing, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to get it. Now it's four. I'm a tweezers. <sighs> yeah. Right. Do away with 310 for a while. It's depressing. Right. Two I need. Oh, that's the black ABs. Three. One. Have I got any ones? No. Oh, and four is an AB as well. So I've got no ones yet. I've got all these. So I'm going to do all these. Come on, folks, let's go. I know, bloody black. <laughs> black AB. No! Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I'm hoping this will work better. And because I'm placing it, I'm hoping that there won't be too many pings and... And whatnot. Oh wow, Ooh. that's coming on well. I do like these black ABs, they do look nice. Spangly, spangly. 
Shiny, shiny. Ooh, that was a magpie. Oh dear. I'll just do this bit of twos and then I'll stop filming. I think that's probably way enough. And then I shall I shall probably continue on my own. Or I might just say blow it and go off up to bed in the warm. I know I've got the fan on, but I'm tired. I'm so tired. Oh. So I see this cat's ear fluff. Spangly. Thank you, know. Yeah, I did find it hard, I have to say, doing the craft fair, um, talking to various people because I couldn't hear. Because the external noise around the periphery was, was, you know, it seemed louder than the person in front of me, which is crazy. And so I was sort of struggling to hear what that person was saying because the other noises were basically loud and... Um, you know, I couldn't, taking away from, from what that person was there saying. But if that is all that I have to worry about, well, that and my eyesight. The eyesight one is a little bit more worrying because I can diamond paint being deaf. But I kind of like need my eyesight. And I need my hands and for shakiness and balance. No, I don't really need my balance for this. It's because I'm sat down. But I definitely want my eyesight. There we go. Oh, my word. Does that look any good? Can you see it? Does it spangle? Nice though, isn't it? Right. On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will see you in the next one. So thank you so much for watching and putting up with me. And um, have fun. And please remember to um, like, comment, subscribe and share. And I will see you in the next one whenever that may be. Well, we all know when that'll be. So until then, bye bye.